Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create passwordless login and sign up forms inside of MemberStack 2.0. Let's do it. All right, so today's video is going to be very quick and super fun. I want to show you how we're going to build this passwordless login workflow where we can type in our email to log in, no password needed, get a confirmation code sent to our email, and then use that code that is delivered on a custom email template to sign in to our membership sites, just like this. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, first step from the member stack homepage, we're gonna come down to components. I'm gonna filter their components for passwordless components. And these are just components that we can copy and paste for free right into our Webflow project. So we don't even have to build these out if we don't want to. So I'm just gonna come down to this passwordless signup component right here. I'm gonna hit copy component. I'm gonna hop into Webflow. I'm gonna go to my passwordless signup page and I'm just gonna paste this bad boy in just like this, okay? do a little bit of formatting just to get it centered and we're good to go. I'm going to do the exact same thing back inside of member stack for my passwordless login. I'm just going to come down here, copy the component, come back into Webflow, come to my passwordless login page and paste it right in just the same. Okay. Now, before we move on to step number two, I just want to break down the custom attributes that are driving the functionality behind these passwordless login and sign up forms. Now, I know we just copy and pasted these forms right into our website, so we don't really have to worry about this. But just in case you are going to build your own passwordless login or sign up forms, I want you to know what is under the engine driving these forms. So I'll show you right now. So on our passwordless login form, on our form div, we can see that we have a custom attribute called data MS form with a value of passwordless login. That is going to give this form that passwordless functionality straight from member stack. Now on our passwordless signup page, it's going to be the exact same attribute, but with a value of passwordless signup instead. Okay. Every other custom attribute on each form is the same except for this one. All right. So let's keep moving through our form here, looking at how this is built under the hood. We come to our email input field. You can see that we have a custom attribute of data MS member and a value of email. Okay. All right, coming down to our gray box here, this is the element that is going to appear to let us input that code that is sent to our email so that we can log in or sign up, okay? Now on this element, we have a custom attribute of data MS password list and a value of step two, okay? That is going to give this the functionality needed to take those tokens from our email and let us log in or sign up, all right? Now we come to this input field from within this gray box and we wanna give this a custom attribute of data MS member value of token. Okay. So that's where we're going to put our code. And then lastly, we're going to come down to this form button down here. All right. And we're going to give this a custom attribute of data MS passwordless button. And then the value can be whatever you want, but whatever you type in right here in this field is the text that is going to show up from inside your button when you submit your code. Okay. And I'll show you all this in a little bit. So those are the custom attributes driving these passwordless login and sign up forms. Now that you know how this is working under the hood, let's go into step number two, where we can start customizing the look and feel of these passwordless login and sign up forms. All right, so step number two is we're going to customize the email that is sent to our members when they're trying to log in or sign up with a passwordless workflow. All right, so to do this, we're going to come back to member stack. I'm going to come down to settings. I'm going to come to emails and I'm going to come down to passwordless login and sign up email. All right. And this is where we can personalize the email that is sent to our members trying to sign in. So I'm going to change the subject here to your passwordless code. Okay. The header, I'm going to say verify your email address, all caps. Then I'll come down to content and I can type whatever I want here. And again, I'm just making stuff up. Your verification code is down below. Copy and paste to sign in. Boom, we'll hit save. Okay, so that's customized now. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna update the logo that is going to appear in these emails. All right, so we can update our branding. So I'll come back to settings, go down to design, and I'm gonna hit replace image and just choose my business logo. All right, so in this case, this little iguana. And then I'm gonna change my primary color just to stay on brand. So I'll change it to this green and I'll hit save. All right, so that is it guys. Let me hop back into Webflow. We'll publish this and then we'll hop onto our site and make sure everything is working. Okay, so I'm on my homepage. I'm gonna hit sign up. I'm gonna go sign up here for a free plan. And boom, you can see I'm brought right to my passwordless sign up form. All right. And so I can sign up here by getting a confirmation code sent to my email. All right. So I'll type in my email here. 
and I'll hit get confirmation code. And boom, here we see that gray box just pop up here where we put in our token and we have our confirm and sign up button right down here. All right, so let me go to my email. We'll go get our code and boom, we can see we have our nice little iguana logo up here. Little cute little guy up there in the corner. Our header here is in our custom color that we just chose. And here's our code. So I can just copy this, come back, paste it in and hit confirm and sign up. Okay, and just like that, I'm brought to my dashboard inside of my working membership site. If I come to member stack and go to members, we can see that I just hopped on this plan right here. So I just created a member without a password. That's awesome. Now, let me come back. I'm gonna log out. And now I'm gonna make sure that our passwordless login form is working by coming to log in. I'll type in the account email that I just made. Okay, I'm gonna hit get confirmation code and boom. Another email was just sent to me. So come to my email and there it comes. You can see our subject is exactly what we typed in on the settings page. And here's our new code. So I'll copy this in, paste it, and boom, it's all working. Boom. That's it guys. It's that easy to build a passwordless login and sign up experience for your members inside of MemberStack. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. And I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.